in and out, in and out. He does a fan. Oh! That, that was a 10 out of 10 viral moment. I mean, it's still, I mean, it still gets posted randomly on Instagram and social media accounts. Every time I fight, it's gonna get brought up for the rest of my career. That front kick up the middle. Oh, that, that man hurt him bad. He's doing it again. And again, the hesitation. Mm, I just captured the moment. That, that, the little jump shot. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, that one was, that was perfect. That, it seems like this guy's got it figured out. No, it definitely feels like home uh, from Montana. Haven't been back in a while. Um, I, yeah, Arizona feels like home. Yeah, when I first moved, I was 19 years old. Um, I was an amateur. Uh, none of this was guaranteed. Like in my head, it was ha it was gonna happen. I, I did see all this happening. I did see me getting UFC. I did see me becoming a star. But once I moved down here, it really was was just train, and I enjoyed training. I didn't. I didn't care. I didn't. I didn't, I, I wanted the money, I wanted the, the fame, I wanted all that, but it was, it's the training I enjoy. I really do enjoy training. I enjoy uh, getting my heart rate up, pushing the pace. That front kick up the middle. Oh, that, that man hurt him bad. He's doing it again. And again, the hesitation. Oh! Yeah, I, I, I gotta prove a lot of stupid people that they're stupid. It was nice. But I think people are starting to see the more comedy side of me, the more entertainment side of me, but how people perceive me. It, it's just because everyone's so different. Some people think I'm cool, some people think I'm a some people, most people think I'm cute. I don't know. What do you think, Elena? One, two, three. Thank oh, you so much. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Good luck. I'll be watching, man. Good luck guys, thank you so much, thank you. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Schmo Zone. We are here in Las Vegas. We have Tim Welch, the head coach for Sugar Sean O'Malley. And we have Sugar Sean O'Malley right here in the flesh. A lot of people are like, you're trying to copy Connor and stuff, it's just so stupid. But I remember I messaged him on Twitter that night, I'm like, dude, I, I, I learned that from you. I was like 21 years old. I'm not used I'm, to this yet, I told you. I don't know. I was in my mom's house, chilling, getting a bunch of DMs from random people telling me I'm gonna get knocked out. And then that's when I found out. What'd you get, like a week? That's a little over a week? Days, yeah. gentlemen are going to be with me. Let's get inside real quick. The uh, undefeated Sean O'Malley, of course. Uh, another fight week for you. We'll give us the uh, the feelings right now ahead of another big fight for you. The crowds are back, and uh, I clearly don't need them to, to go out there and perform. I've, I've proved that. and uh, But the fact that they're coming back, it, it just it ups everything. But does it feel almost like a no-win situation? I mean, obviously, this guy comes in and shocks you. He's shocking the world. You beat him, and it's like, oh, Mally beat another can. You know, when are they ever going to test this guy? You know, he might be thinking it's a win-win for him. He goes out there and, and loses. He's in the UFC. But I don't just knock people out. I, I change people's careers. I really, you know, mentally, the way I knock people out, they got to... You know, they step into that cage, they're different the next fight out there. So you, this could be the beginning of his career. This could be the end of his career. We'll see. Coming into Las Vegas, the big fight card at T-Mobile sold out. Kind of the first big event here in the fight capital of the world. Can you talk a little bit about being on this card, uh, the importance of this, and kind of getting back to, uh, to normal with, with, with everything? This could be potentially the biggest card ever, or biggest pay-per-view ever. More eyeballs than ever. And though there's a ton of celebrities that are going to be out. Um, a lot of people performing in Vegas that weekend, so all eyes are on, are on uh, the fight card Saturday night. I feel like my fan base is just as excited <laughs> for my fight as they are the trilogy, Conor vs. Dustin, which is insane. Um, and I think the numbers will show that. I don't know if you can really prove that at all, but I, I, if, if you can, I think it would show that. Conor McGregor has left a lasting legacy on the sport. How has he inspired you as a fighter? Because he's obviously changed the game in terms of not just being a fighter, but being a superstar. The way he carries himself, the way he handles pressure, the way he goes into these big fights, um, I, I've learned a lot from him. I've, I'm, I'm pumped to meet him. I've never met him, so it, it'll be cool. The, the idea is hurt him. I want to hurt him. i got to hurt him first, and then I get the spectacular knockout. We're going to head upstairs and knock out a couple interviews. Perfect. Perfect.
After this is where I go to build my legacy and the guy that has so much hype behind him. And if I, if I can get that done, I'm one step closer to that. I'm just ready to go out there and be hungry and, and show the world how I fight. I feel, I mean, I, I still feel pretty good. I just know how good I'm going to feel. Once I carb up and get, get those calories in my body, I just look at it as another fight, just another name, just another face to, to, to add to my collection of highlight reel knockouts. All right, next fighter to the scale set to make his UFC debut live on pay-per-view tomorrow night in the UFC's Bantamweight division, Chris Mutino. 135, the official weight for Chris Mutino. All right, next fighter to the scale, charged with opening the pay-per-view tomorrow night in the UFC's Bantamweight division, Sugar Sean O'Malley. The official weight, 135 and a half for Sugar Sean O'Malley. And now for the ceremonial weigh-in for UFC 264. Here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends? Welcome to the Lions! Live on pay-per-view, we kick things off in the bantamweight division. Sugar Sean O'Malley versus Chris Moutinho. Official weight, 135. Sugar, Sean O'Malley! Official weight, 135.5 for the Sugar Show! Chris Moutinho and Sean O'Malley! Man, is it great to be back on a bustling Vegas strip and inside a banged out T-Mobile Arena. And there he is, the budding superstar and bantamweight hopeful, Sugar Sean O'Malley, Chris Moutinho. He put on an offensive clinic in his last regional bout. He had been on the UFC's radar for a while. The cats from Always Sunny in Philadelphia getting a nice pop. Also in the building, the future Hall of Famer, Max Blessed Holloway. Well, no fight fan will forget the night Sean O'Malley burst out of the world fight scene with a knockout on Dana White's Contender Series in 2017. Tonight, it doesn't matter who's in the octagon with me. I'm gonna knock him out. Tonight, on a massive stage, O'Malley aims to repeat the result in his home away from home in Vegas. Doesn't get better, doesn't get bigger. Here is Chris Moutinho out of Milford, Massachusetts for the UFC debut. Chris Moutinho is stepping into this octagon with an incredibly gifted, talented fighter that has a massive amount of momentum. Seventh UFC appearance overall for Sean O'Malley, 13 and one as a mixed martial arts pro. He made his pro debut at 20 years of age. And well, he's got all the talent in the world. He's got incredible length for this division. He's enormous. He has knockout power. He has wild creativity. O'Malley, 26. Mutino is 28. Four inches in height for O'Malley, and that matches his advantage in reach tonight. He is the biggest betting favorite on the fight card tonight. Chris Martino! Sugar Sean O'Malley! Oh my goodness. Sean utilizing that long front kick to the body. Look, he's pretending he's playing basketball. He's got to be careful with O'Malley. Let's the right hand go. Oh, there it is. Look at See that. that. That front kick to the body is money, oh. and he goes high. Oh my goodness, O'Malley is just oh. oh, he cracked him, he cracked O'Malley. Oh my goodness. Oh, the beginning of the end. He's hurt. Yeah, he's hurt bad. O'Malley's so good now, beautiful spinning kick lands. He needs to grab, Joe. He needs to hold. Good inside low kick again yeah. by Mutino. Good inside kick by Mutino. And he's forcing Sean to switch. Sean checked that one, though. This Chris Moutinho is a tough, tough man. And despite the flash, right Sean O'Malley right certainly not taking oh. the opposition lightly. Moutinho. Moutinho with a very good right hand in that exchange. Good combination there. Moutinho's taking it all and moving forward. Oh, oh. beautiful knee up the middle. Oh my God. And the massive.
Massachusetts native Mutino. Oh, passes oh, forward, gets yeah. the oh. Mutino's out on his feet. He's out on his feet. Oh my They're goodness. helping him to his corner. They've got to get some cold water over his head. Here's the end of the round. I mean, this is after absorbing a barrage of punches, but the accuracy of Sean O'Malley is just something to behold, ladies and gentlemen. O'Malley landed 89 significant strikes unofficially in round one. That's a single round UFC bantamweight record. He here is the problem with that one that he took before. These he kind of sees. That one at the end of the round he didn't see. The yes. ones that he can see, he can take. But like those, those are the ones that'll get him out of there. Well, Chris Mutino's gonna have a whole new fan base tomorrow morning, but all O'Malley through six minutes. Good Absolutely. kick to the body there by Mutino. Look at how he's doing this too. He's just so unpredictable. His move, like there. Oh, Mutino walked into a shot, but yet continues. Man, I mean, hand speed. How about the chin of Mutino? I mean, think about the shots that took out tough guys like Eddie Wineland. And O'Malley is famous for that. For putting the lights out. Stop. Stop. Look at Mutino follow him. Because soon as Herb says go, look at Mutino. He wants to be close. How look about that? that? Big deep breath by O'Malley. He's looking up at the clock. If you get him on the cage, look at me. If you get him on the cage, you keep him there. I'd like to see a little more action with the legs. I need the head off center. Right here, you see O'Malley land a beautiful little check right hook. As he's evading, look at that jab, man, by O'Malley. O'Malley going Fingers offense, up. defense all night. Oh. Good shot from Mutino. Well, O'Malley's having a little oh. bit of a hard time. Look at that, just shakes his head. O'Malley's having a little bit of a hard time setting his feet down to fire shots with real power because of Mutino's pressure. He was going to come for contender series, oh. but then found his way into this fight when he got the call. Nice low kick by Mutino. How do you keep this kid at range? He is just in constant pursuit. Yeah, he just doesn't want to drain his gas tank and get into war with this kid and then wind up empty with this guy still coming after him. The three-round record, guys, for significant strikes, 238 by Nate Diaz. O'Malley trying to chase oh. that down. Huge right. Oh. And Mutino's not going anywhere. Oh, I mean, he oh, can't. Man. He's touching him with everything he throws. Look at that. Oh, boy. Look at that. Oh, Mutino just landed a big right hand himself. Popping that jab. One minute to go. It's going to be hard to get that fight in the night. Chip, My these God. dudes going at it. And most of the MMA world will respect Chris Mutino. Oh. 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 He deserves to finish. What? He what deserves to finish the fight. I don't understand fight. that. I really don't understand and that. He, but he took all those shots the whole time. Look at that beautiful left hand by O'Malley. Pops him with the right straight left and I'm just stunned that Herb Dean who is in my opinion the best referee in the business just decided he saw enough the kid is trying I mean, he's, he's not hurt in the point in the, in the sense that he can't walk 30 seconds left all the damage the kid had taken right I mean I can't argue either way but to see the kid finish the fight declaring the winner by TKO Sugar Sean Sean, were you surprised at the stoppage? He might not think that was a good stoppage, but it might have saved him a couple years on his life because I was about to put him out for good. Sugar Sean O'Malley, ladies and gentlemen. I'm backstage with The Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley, and on the heels of one of the most dominant, craziest performances we have ever seen in the UFC, but you're not like jumping up and down. What, I gotta believe you're excited about that performance. I've never been so hurt beating someone up, so I would be jumping around with my feet are a little sore, gotcha. my hands are a little sore, uh, my shin's a little sore, that dude's tough. The word is you have basically shattered about every single significant striker record that there is, and I think you're perhaps now third most in significant strikes ever landed in a UFC fight. I mean, I see you smiling there, that's going to feel good. Before I was in the UFC and it kind of popped up on the, on the little thing and it was, I was like, damn, that's... That's a record I want, so that, that's really cool. You went out there and you put on an absolute clinic. I think you should be very excited, very proud of this performance. It was the Sugar Show on full display. Sean, thank you so much. For
for taking a second. I appreciate your time as always. Thank you. Always good to be backstage after a W with you. And I did want to ask you about Sean O'Malley. I mean, he got a huge pop in there tonight. As you said, I don't think he did anything wrong in there. The other guy was just incredibly tough. So what did you think about him and kind of where he, he stands? He seems like just becoming a massive star. Didn't gas out while doing it. I mean, he was looking at the clock a little bit there in the, in the fight. But, uh, you know, when you're in there against a zombie, I, I, I could just imagine you know what, what it's like so uh, I, I thought he put on a good performance did you agree with the stoppage in the O'Malley Moutinho fight Moutinho was very upset when Herb Dean stopped it with 30 seconds left I think it could have been stopped three minutes before that he could have stopped it in the second round he could have that fight could have and should have been stopped at any moment I had no problem with that stoppage